What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans are actually spawning on the right side of the map in the red color playing as Ra. His name is Mage. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Jellyfish. His name playing as Jellyfish. His name is Poseidon. No, playing as Poseidon. His name is Jellyfish. The map is Alfheim and this is the third game in this best of three series in the Challengers League. The winners of the Challengers League do get to go on to face the losers of the Champions League to take their spot in season two. And yes, we are already thinking about season two and season one has only just begun. So we want this to be a thing and we want this thing to happen many times. So uh, the more you guys get behind it, the, you, you guys being the viewers, the community, the more we'll want to do it. Uh, so we want to thank everyone who's participating, uh, including the players, the viewers, and any admin staffs and all of that cool stuff that's going on. So Poseidon versus Ra here, super interesting matchup. Uh, if, we, if you uh, see... Um, if you see any of Boobez's, excuse me, if you see any of Boobez's games against Fox, he demonstrated how good Poseidon can be, uh, simply through sheer aggression and, uh, crazy building placement everywhere because those militia slow down any push out so fast and so well. We are seeing a monument to the villagers coming up now for mage. So it's an early monument to the villagers. No super fast classical age here for mage either. Uh, he does have some nice hunt over here on this uh, on this location. So um, a bit surprised that this is going to be a standard build order here for mage. It's because you've got you've got the uh, the deer here. You go for a four minute advance time and, and get a safe town center right here. But going for a late. Advanced time means town center over here is a must. It's it's nice and protected behind this cliff, but um, we'll see if it if it uh, if he can actually get it up or not. Relics on this map, we do have the armor of Achilles. We've also got the toothed arrows and the Grungir Odin's spear. So infantry, uh, archers, and infantry. So that's actually kind of cool. This will be um. This would be an interesting one just because of that. We may be seeing some uh, Poseidon infantry in the in the Ra uh, in the Ra war. And Poseidon versus Ra coming out just because of those extra relics for the infantry units. Um, but we also might we also may not though. Temple coming up now for jellyfish. We do see, oh, we see something a little bit interesting from Jellyfish. Already gone four villages on wood. Now, this is a bit of a variation on any Greek build order I've seen. Uh, and I think what it does allow you to do, I'm thinking about it. I don't see any advantage over it in the immediacy. Maybe you can get out an early husbandry because you get that extra villager on the, on the wood, um, which could be useful. But you can already see he's only putting like eight villages onto food before he puts more villages over onto wood. So it's a slight deviation from the uh, the norm the normality of this build. But also you do get this uh, this lure here, so you don't have to run out. Oh, it's actually a late classical age jellyfish. You want to be uh, advancing about 4:30 with Greek in this matchup, so that you can get your heroes out fast enough to come over and harass this town center. Uh, otherwise, it's just a free town center, and um, and the, the raw player gets all the initiative. Well, basically, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to deal with you. The build order is not interrupted or anything like that. Um, but major already going with this nice early wall here. See Ptah coming through four fifteen ish. Jellyfish going through Hermes five villages on gold, six villages on wood will mean you'll be able to afford a Apollota, a Jason. And even an extra centaur if he wants to, but it's looking like he is simply just going for uh, an immediate second town center here. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea to just rush three town centers on this map, uh, but it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow. Maybe it would, would uh, 
be asking for some some early aggression from uh, the from the Ra player. But on a map like this, where the town center is super exposed, you can get your two heroes out, go for a fast three town centers, uh, and then prevent your opponent getting this town center at any point before he gets heroic agent, and then you cease fire when the push comes. Anyways, we've got 10 villages on gold now for Mage. He's looking very close to having enough to get that town center, dumping the, the villages, moving over onto this location here, and he will be getting up that town center. No problems here. Already got the Catascopus over here. We do see the Apollita coming out, and the town center coming down nice and forward. Does have these elk here that he can eat as well. He's got a lot of cow he can eat. And are we seeing an immediate, uh, no. Okay, I would have preferred to see an immediate husbandry here just because of all these cows. Um, but going for the, obviously this is standard here, going for an immediate stable is standard, but if you get out uh, the the husbandry, then these cows get a lot more food in them and you're gonna be able to boom very, very hard. We just see, I think he sniped the deer or something, I'm not sure, he's coming in looking to the base. All these watchtowers are gonna be too much in the town center. Will be coming up now for Mage. Does have a cow over here already that he can eat. All is coming down over here as well. And Shadoof, I think, has already come through. Does have Shadoof waiting on plow and he's gonna spam those farms out. Uh, this is this is a probably one of the one of the better fast farm build orders you're gonna see from a from a Ra. So a little bit of a little bit of Knowledge to be grasped here. I like that he took the, took the villages off wood as well. No real need to continue mining that wood when you need to get farms out. Uh, hopefully he doesn't overdo it on on too many farms because that means you do delay the the heroic age. Jellyfish has got his town center up, throwing up a stable as well. Bears coming down. One thing I one thing I don't like about grabbing the Ford town center if you're not going for three town centers is that this is going to be a very very Easy spot for a timing push from Mage. So you're asking, you're asking for a for yourself to get uh, get timing pushed here um, with like a lot of camelry and, and siege towers and a couple of bazookas. And it's very difficult for Poseidon to beat that in the classical age. So we'll see see what he can do. If he has Atlanta out, it's a different story because Atlanta can come in and snipe those bazookas, and then getting out heavy cavalry does. Uh, Turn the tides of, of the battle there. A little bit disappointed that this relic hasn't been grabbed as well. Um, we are seeing Jellyfish trying to push in with the Wadget, gonna be sniping this center. It does manage to pull it back in time. Uh, oh, and, and there's the relic getting grabbed by Hippolyta here. Rain does come down now for, uh, for Mage. A couple of farms getting in there as well. It's a lot of villagers on, check out Jellyfish here. He's got 18 villagers on food. So he's doing it right. I just, a little bit of unfortunate uh, situation there on that. Uh, and those, uh, the, the villager timing. A little bit of idle town center of time. Now the Wadget coming in, pushing these units away yet again. And we are gonna be seeing, no, no advance time just yet. I take it all back, this, uh, this build order, no. How many farms does he want? 11 farms. 20 farms from Mage. This is gonna be like a fast mythic. This is looking like it's a fast mythic. I don't see, he's not going through um, segment here. So, far, like a fast mythic, but these gold mines are gonna be difficult to secure. I don't know if, does Jellyfish know about the gold mine over there? He does. He knows about it. Well, that's a thing. We've got a, another monument of soldiers coming up now for Mage. Okay. I mean, I like, say it's, it's too many, but it's gonna be a really strong economy straight away for Jellyfish. And he's going to be getting out a lot of camel ready to deal with all of these uh, Hippicon, which he otherwise wouldn't have been able to do if he went for a faster heroic age. So he has some options here. And he's moving in. The other thing that I 
I want to see Rail players doing a little bit more is taking villagers off the farms when the rain's over. Eat these berries, eat these chicken. I think they gather faster. Could be wrong. Not sure. Not sure what the gather rate on chickens and berries are. I know it's a low. I think it's the same as um as herdables. Maybe it's not as maybe when you have plow it's it's fine to sit on your farms instead of berries. Chicken, I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? Nothing. Migdol stronghold coming up now for for jellyfish. Walls coming up for sorry for mage. Walls coming up for, for jellyfish as well. Got a big jar of Imseti sitting here as well. The infantry relics! Just everywhere! Apparently it's only worth on the herdables. So if you've got some cow, you should eat your cow first and then go back to your farm. Don't worry about these berries. Don't worry about the chicken. There you go. Makes sense as long as you've got a plow. <laughs> and there are also raw farms as well. So they go a little bit faster, I think. Right? Right? I don't know what the, what the, I don't know anything. My brain doesn't work very well. We are seeing Kamori is the, the unit of choice here. Mage's got, still has a lot of food here. And for some reason, trying to break through this wall when the space over here is the obvious space to go through. Lots of idle Hippocon here, not able to push through this wall. And he's going to come in. The, the Patsukos is here. The Wadget is here. And Jellyfish is looking like he's going for a bit of an all-in. Um, safer option here it was, was definitely just a third town center. When when uh when Mage went to the heroic age that slow, third town center would have been huge. Then you can grab fourth town center and cease fire any sort of timing push and you'd be totally fine, but still sitting two town centers, Mage is gonna be slightly ahead on the economy. These camelry come out. Once he gets heavy camelry on them, they start shredding through these hippocon as well. And there's the heavy camelry as well, so it gets it really early, which I love. I'm gonna move in here, cast a immediate uh, locust onto these farms. It's not the it's not the biggest deal. It's only five farms, but he picks off a villager. He's gonna try and pick off some more. Lose a couple of camelry to the town center by not paying attention to them. And we are seeing finally the hippocon deciding to go through the right way here, but there's probably skin of the rhino is available, so they they very slow to do too much here. And, and there's no heroes in this location for the time being. Camelry or heavy camelry now out, so they're gonna move in and and force jellyfish away for the time being. One thing jellyfish could do here is just go straight to the mythic age. He doesn't have to get a third town center here. So long as mage stays on two town centers, he's not getting that, he's not really getting uh, put behind on this one. And you can just rush Hephaestus, which does give him an effect of 10 extra villages uh, with that plenty vault. So it's sort of worth it when you think about it, because boy, how many villages to get in a minute? You can get four villages from a town center in a minute. And then uh, in a minute and a half or two minutes and a half, you can get eight, you can get 10 villages out in the time it takes to advance to the mythic age uh, from the from the classical age. So better better than uh, grabbing a second town center is getting Hephaestus or third town center is getting Hephaestus in this position. If that's what he's going for. He's got a lot of gold in the bank so he can buy his way there as well. Um, might have to use, um, might have to use curse though right now as he's gotten pushed back and mage is trying to get on the commanding position now as he's grabbing this town so unfortunately jellyfish does not really making the right decisions here to react to what mage has done but he still got he's still got a chance here if he can get mythic age very fast and get those upgrades out he's moving over onto these pigs as well markets coming up for jellyfish he may actually have to go through artemis here as well um, he's not Zeus, so he doesn't have the, the added bonus of swapping into Myrmidon as soon as you hit the Mythic Age. But, or mm, also doesn't have the added bonus of having access to Hera, which would deal a lot of damage to your opponent. Son of Osiris comes through for Major as, as well. 13 minutes, 30 second, full population Mythic Age here from Mage. Absolute stock standard play off of that boomy me fast heroic here. 20 villages on farms. That's the meta. Yeah. 
Jellyfish. Has no food left over. He's out of gold as well. Well, not out of gold. He's not seeing that crazy amount of gold that he had. And now he's got no real way to push forward at all. Is This army from Mage is looking awfully, awfully scary. Picking off these military academies though will mean there are some uh, militia here. But the mummy counters this very nicely by one hitting these uh, one hitting these militia and giving him some extra DPS to attack the next thing. You are seeing the Hippocon coming up to this top location here. Maybe I would get a small raid onto these gold villages, which will help out a little bit. Now the Kamori coming into the top here, checking this gold mine. Mage, he's got the right idea. You have to find the gold mine. If we check out Mage's line of sight though, he's seen nothing. He is in the dark. But he has to know there could be gold here or there could be gold here. There's not going to be gold here because it's just the town center. This just not going to happen. Well, probably not going to happen. You should check. You got to, you got to check. But nice raids coming in. Are these Desert Wind? No Desert Wind from, uh, from Mage just yet. I have to remember Desert Wind is a... Well, what's the upgrade? I always get confused about how good it is. 20% uh, extra camelry hack damage, 20% extra camelry hit points. So it's effectively like an extra, an extra tier of champion. So you're like super champion plus copper weapons or something like that. Super champion. And you also get super speed as well. Go up to like seven speed, the far, like one of the fastest units in the game. If not the fastest, I always get confused. But for drummers are starting to come out. He has to get well, running away from that fight. Why? Don't run away. Fight. <laughs> Mage. Interesting decision making. Apparently a pack of Fenris wolves can get higher than 7.8 speed. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I do not know. Wolves are at 8 speed, so Wolves win. They win the uh, the speed race. Oh, with the Bragi upgrade. There you go. And, uh, oh, Jellyfish, is he clicked up? Yeah, he has clicked up through armies. He's got three town centers now. Not going through Hephaestus does make it very difficult for him here as he's pushing, getting pushed back by a mage who's now got his son of Osiris He's going to get surrounded though, as the Chimera is coming into the back. Maybe I'll just start picking these guys off. The Camry is so strong right now though, pushing this all off. We do see an Earthquake onto this position, but just not enough damage. Look at all these upgrades. He's got Architects, he's got Masons, he's got Sun-Dried Mud Bricks. So he just lo loses basically nothing there. He just has to rebuild those houses. The uh, Son of Osiris is taking a lot of damage though from these Hippocon. While this is all going on, and all those Camry did end up falling to the medium prod Romus, but that means that Mage is now going to start transitioning into Spearman. Um, we do have some catapults pushing on the top here. It's going to be very difficult to defend against when the Son of Osiris is sitting here with all of these Spearmen as well coming out. These Hoplite are here. They do have both of these upgrades, so they're going to be quite a bit stronger than normal. We just have a bunch of Toxodes here as well to push in uh, or defend against these uh, these Spearmen. Go get those Prodromas to start hitting the Catapults. May have to see Jellyfish using a Ceasefire here. Wouldn't be a bad idea at all. We have Atlanta out. It can now target down the Mummy. And this Town Center is getting awfully close to fa falling. And in fact, he does lose it as the Catapult had already flung their boulders onto the Town Center. And Jellyfish is going to have to re rebuild that one right now. He's short resources. But here we go. He's going to be able to get it back up now as he's got the resources to do so. Uh, and... Mage has got the options now in this ceasefire to throw up walls here and make this impossible for Jellyfish to defend against. Uh, and he's got champion chariots art as well. Uh, a mercenary going to start flooding in. His economy is absolutely gigantic. Has irrigation, quarry, bow saw. Uh, Jellyfish, on the other hand, has got hand axe, plow, and shaft mine. The town center is awfully close to going up and it will be up and no walls going up just yet for mage a little bit uh upsetting to be honest still no heavy infantry though 
looking to be on top of that one. We do see copper weapons coming in for both players. Fortified town centers for Jellyfish. Got some nice raids coming in onto this back already. And I think this army from Mage just wins this fight here. If he micros the uh, the chariots onto those Prodromas, so he should be fine for him to win this one. But he has leaving the uh, Camoy to snipe the units. The rest will pick off everything else, and it should be totally fine here. But yet again, this uh, this town center is just going down. The uh, son of Osiris is under fire, though, by these Toxodes who are doing so much damage. Son of Osiris now down to 130 HP. We've got some watchtowers immediately queued up, and the town center for me off of Jellyfish does fall as Major's got so many catapults here. He's got six catapults out as he's just completely decimating all of the buildings of Jellyfish. And it's looking like the son of Osiris is going to have to retreat a little bit here, but it's looking like there's just no way for Jellyfish to hold on to this location anymore. Does have heavy hoplite uh, to be used for the time being, but uh, he's losing villages down here as well. And looking at Jellyfish's economy, he's only got 12 villages on gold, need to move up onto this location. He's got Shaft Mine and, and Hand Axe, just not the best economic upgrades at all compared to Mage, who is just able to push through the Son of Osiris. Awfully close to falling, though, while these militia are pushing in and it's just uh, trying to keep them alive. But you see the Chimera here will, will get picked off by that Son of Osiris. Village is moving forward to put this town center up. Uh, I think uh, the. If you're ever in this situation where you don't quite have the uh, the the area secured, you want to put up towers around this uh, just to make sure your opponent can't push you back. We just see the uh, Son of Osiris still 29 HP. Toxodes trying to pick it off and not actually attacking him. Attack the Son of Osiris. No. Don't want to. No. Fair enough. Keep him alive. Jump him into the. Uh, into the rock and then flap, flap around. Hippolyta is in here. They'll be able to snipe that and go after the mummy as well. Jellyfish sitting at 99 population to Mage's 160 population. An absolutely commanding uh, advantage right now for Mage as Jellyfish is in a complete disarray and scrambling to rebuild buildings. He does have those Poseidon uh, militia. So every single building he throws up uh, that goes down is kind of worth some unupgraded hoplite. They, 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 they're... I thought militia didn't get extra bonuses from the line upgrades, but turns out infantry affects militia as well. And I didn't know that. No wonder these militia are so strong. These are effectively hoplite. Every single one of them. There you go. Learn something new every day. Every day. Siege works are coming in as well. Town centers up for mage. And uh, mage is uh, just trying to pick everything off here. I mean, he should be able to. Surprise, he doesn't have like. More upgrades, to be honest. He's, he's got full full copper, but there's the heavy spearman as, as I say that. Where's his upgrades? He's getting bronze stuff to Son of Cyrus. Does get sniped finally, but at this point, it's 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 almost too little too late. There is a polymer can't speak, Polyphemus here as well for, uh, for Jellyfish, and he will tap out at this moment. GG, well played by Mage. A little bit of an upset here, I'd say. For most people, because Jellyfish is definitely um, tipped off as one of the uh, top players in his division in the Challengers League. So well played by Mage to take this victory. He made this look uh, very difficult at first, very impossible in the second game. And then in the third game, he showed, man, I can play Alpha. I mean, he can play Alpha I'm really nicely. So well played by a mage. Unfortunately, Jellyfish does lose this game, but it doesn't matter. It's a league. You lose your game. You're not out of the tournament at all. You get to keep playing through to the end of the league uh, and, and play as many good games as you, as you can against everyone in your league. And um, it definitely still has the options to get. Uh, you could still possibly even get first in the entire league. Who knows how it will all end up uh, situating at the end of it. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you do enjoy the stream, please hit that follow button or the subscribe button on the YouTubes. It does help out so much. Um, and we'll be moving on to another game very shortly. So thank you so much.